I mean, that's, you know, those kind of thoughts are going to arise, in, in, in a, if I'm going to be honest and say, okay, there's no rules, you know, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, it's going to be some, it's going to be some payback. I think you should probably confront those things that you would, like, this is the point of this exercise if this hypothetical is useful, right? You should confront those things so that if this happens, like, you really just don't change what you do. Like, deal with all of your weird stuff that you're suppressing. Why, why have all that on top of you all the time? Well, I don't know exactly how you deal with it, though. If somebody must die, that's the only way you can deal with it is they must die. And the only question is, is, well, will I saute their liver or will I boil it? I don't know, boiled liver or saute liver. Yeah. You want to do don't, it? Don't forget the fava beans. I hope when I die, I at least fuck up somebody's schedule. I'm not. I'm not normally like a vindictive person, but I don't know. I hope when I die that like it at least slows down traffic for half the day. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you don't bother me already. I don't even know you that well, but yeah, I'd <laughs> slow down. Oh, it's a day. oh, damn, we lost another one of them white-haired girls. God damn it. Let, let me know when you die. My hair is not white, it's blonde. Yeah, I just like calling them the white-haired girl. I just like that line. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being eaten by an animal. I, I don't know so much a cannibal unless they were, like, really nice. And I was dying, I'd be like, okay, you can eat me, sir. What kind of animal would you, if you could pick any kind, uh, what, what would it be? Probably a whale. Sweet. I want something. <laughs> yeah, I want something in a while. <laughs> I, I'm very tall and, like, large. So it would take a very big animal to eat me in like one bite. So I think I'd rather be like a whale or something that's not going to like I don't want to be eaten away by like a small rodent. I want to like be like Rawr! and then I'm like crushed. Yeah, but a whale's gonna have to like chew you a lot because they got like a really tiny throat. You know, so they're chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing and chewing. And chewing. <laughs> Ew, no. And they have baleen, like so you're gonna be like going through this weird tunnel. It'd be like it'd be like the ball pit at the pizza arcade, but grosser. Yeah, I'd want an no, animal that would like, a, like the kind of animal that paralyzes its prey. Maybe and maybe as long as I'm not too terribly conscious. Hopefully, I would go into shock. That must. Yeah, that all sounds like some kind of Freddy Krueger kind of thing. Um, but whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever, <laughs> no, I, I want to be, you know, yeah, if I'm dead, go ahead, and make a meal out of me, but until then, no. That hypothetical turned out much better than I could have hoped. It was a pretty good question. I like I like the what kind of animal would you like to eat you the most? That was good. I like that, Anika. Fucking alligator, I guess. I don't know. A big predator. I want to go out in a big way. Well, alligators. The good thing, or at least crocodiles, are very. They're one of the ones I was thinking of. Where they like they grab their prey and they twist them and like get them all fucked up and then so you're like dead and then they eat you. I don't want something that's gonna like fuck with me. Like, an animal that's just gonna, like, whip at me and then kind of back off. I want to just be killed. Yeah, well, crocodiles ain't that too good. Unless, you know, unless it's really got you outnumbered in weight, you know, it can take you a while. But you're gonna, you know, it'll beat you up, but you'll still be alive. You know, you'll be struggling. It's gonna try to, it'll drown you eventually, but you're gonna keep... I've seen animals eaten by crocodiles. It's, you know, it's, it's just not a chomp-chomp kind of deal. It's, a, uh, you know, it's messy. There's a, a whole lot of, you know, tearing apart and stuff. I think I'd go with a Sasquatch if I had to be eaten by anything. Like, I would just love those final moments. Like, oh my god, the fucking thing is real. Like, and it would just be so painfully ironic, like, that, like, I can't tell anybody and I'm being eaten.
Yeah, well, yeah, I'll go for a Martian then, a really tiny one. <laughs> tiny, tiny Martian. <laughs> Take him six years just to get through my toenail. Sorry, I keep getting PM Tautolum. I am 5 foot 11. Ah, very good. I am 6 foot 1. So we're almost perfect together. I would have thought you were taller. 5 foot 11, oh, that's, that's taller. not that that's tall, tall really. Now. God damn you. No, no, just because, <laughs> like, 5 foot 11. I was just kidding, that's pretty tall. I'm gonna need a pillow under my knees when I blow you, Gary. Being vulgar. Uh, I gotta turn your mic off there, Frozen Rockers guy. Well, forget it. I'm not even bother trying to communicate with him. Uh, no point. Whoa. Whoa, room froze. That wasn't a good sign. Oh, you're leaving sub DNA guy. Yeah, well, thanks. That was good. And such. No, I was just saying bye-bye to the guy you just kicked off with the, uh, the rap music. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's well. like a sympathetic kick. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he wasn't very sympathetic. <sighs> hey, you know, uh, maybe next week, and I know I'm guilty, I, I spent so much fucking time on the movies this week, and last week, what did we do, geography? which mountain in North America is highest, and, you know, maybe next week uh, we can just get into the depressing shit, you know, just kind of do the little chit-chat for the first 30, 45 minutes, and then, like, really get into the hardcore depressing shit, you know, and spend most of the evening on that. What, what do you think of that, uh, DNG? What are you even talking about? Like what? The uh, yeah, I missed that part. I was I was watching these girls are sitting there posting these big huge numbers. They're like, I'm 180. They're like, oh, 180 pounds? Hell, the fuck? She can't be 180 pounds. That's insane. Um, Never mind that. Never mind that. Yeah, so I was a little distracted. <laughs> yeah, I'm 4'4", 265 pounds. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was these numbers. These numbers don't match. Uh, but anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, whatever. The conversation thing is always hard to control, so, you know. I haven't yeah, seen you in a long time. time you know. No, I don't see you. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, and I'm not trying to be interlocutor of conversation. That, that's your job, thank God. Uh, yeah, just... I don't mind. I, I enjoy the, the uh, evenings. Either way. Very good. Jamie, do you still have that ice ISIS melting account? And do you do you still do random improvisations on the guitar? Yeah, um, there I, there are five more videos that I um, am supposed to do as Jamie Ryan, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to doing them. Then then that'll be the end of the whole thing. Um, they'll they'll be around soon enough. Maybe I don't know. I might just not do it. Like, what's the point? Yeah. Well, there's a point. I don't know exactly what it is. But something. It's got to be a point to it. <laughs> I've been doing it for three years. It's got to be a point to making videos. It's got to be. Well, to making videos, but I mean, the whole ISIS melting thing was like really, I mean, obviously, we're among friends here, so I can talk about it, like, it, it was really planned and everything, and it definitely wasn't received the way that I intended, like, so why, it just seems like, why finish it? I, I will, but, I don't know. Ah, I see. It was an agenda channel. Gotcha. Well, just like a like a piece of avant-garde sarcastic art, like it, it's Dada, you know, like it's 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 meaningless crap, of course. But uh, I don't know. I thought that it was funny, but nobody else really seemed to think so. Fuck them. They wouldn't know real art if it slapped them across the face. Oh, 
I wonder what the hard to tube. Do <laughs> you have a YouTube account? I don't know what does that mean. Hard to tube. Hey, so did everybody buy the e-cigarettes when, um, what's his name, uh, Azrianok made that video? I tried them, they, they work pretty good, but they're fucking expensive as shit. I know, but I really like them. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. On to what's the subject? The subject is favorite colors. What's the subject? Favorite colors. What? My favorite color now is like navy blue. Like, you know, the color of, of, hold on, I'll show you. Just give me a quick sec, I want to show you. Tell me what you guys no, think. I don't want to I'm just going to... Do what? I don't want a color. I just I don't want the color. No color allowed. Never like my topic suggestion. Unless you have a like a Pantone chart to go along with that, because I want to make sure that when you're showing me a color, I know exactly what color you're showing me. You know, I don't want to. I don't want it to be off like you know a pixel. We, we could talk, we could use like a hexadecimal. Uh, uh, you know the the HTML codes for them. That would work. Exactly. Yeah, let's do that. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah let's get right Can anybody on. guess what guess movie that's from? This is about as interesting as listening to somebody talk about their fucking backyard deck project at a barbecue. Well, actually, I can make that pretty interesting. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, that would be better than to blue. Seriously, you could make that interesting. I, I, uh, I, I'd be up for that. I've made videos, you know, instructional videos. <laughs> so, yeah. See you, Anno guy. Hey Gary, um, do you have a favorite author? Dr. Seuss. Oh, awesome. I love that stuff. Hey, Jamie, look at my camera. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's the same as it's been for like two hours. Hey, Gary. Do you have a perspective on the zero point field in quantum mechanics? The Turner Seascape. Huh, I had his camera turned off for some reason. Huh. <laughs> so anyway, sorry. Sorry, I missed the, the look at your camera thing. So what was it? See somebody asked Seascape something or other? What? 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 Sorry, I was busy being distracted. No, I was, I was uh, commenting on Cosmanthony's uh, picture. I, I just, I don't know. Looked like a Turner Seascape. Hey, Gary, do you have any perspective on, on uh, the zero point field and quantum mechanics? Yeah, well, zero point fields, I don't know what that is, so um, my perspective on it would be that it uh, seems pretty improbable, <laughs> since I have no understanding of it, knowledge of it whatsoever. But whatever, I mean, there's I have the quantum mechanics, the idea that you can do all this er error math, yeah, I've got nothing against all that shit. Um, but, you know, it has nothing to do with probability theory in quantum mechanics, which is a whole different pile of crap. I mean, or, or whatever it is, the, the, the idea that they're converting, saying that photons are in more than one place at the same time, that ain't happening. Yeah, this uncertainty principle is really sound. There's nothing wrong with the uncertainty principle. That's just merely stating that you can't measure this stupid shit. So if you try to look at one part of it, you're going to destroy another part of it. Because they're the tiniest things in the universe, and we can't throw anything at it to see what it looks like. I mean, it's just so obvious. You can't look at it without influencing it. Because it's too fucking small. Duh.